everybody and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. So I am still in Sholo, Arizona, and I'm at a rest stop, just had to get some sleep before I could take my next load. And we already have one picked out. We will be heading to Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, hopefully we can check out these last couple places in Arizona. Um, these last little couple cities. I think I'm missing about three. Um... Three cities, I believe, is all I'm missing in Arizona. So I'm going to head to Phoenix because as of right now, leaving Sholo uh, is not um, enough. There's not any trailers going to any places that I haven't been to already. And the only one that is staying in Arizona is going to Phoenix. All the other ones are going to, like, San Francisco, Oakland, uh, Elko, Nevada, all this other stuff. So um, I decided to take one back to Phoenix, but I know it's not going to be a very long trip. So I decided that we will uh, go ahead and pick up the trailer together to hopefully extend the length of the video because the last one was really, really short because I just didn't realize how quick of a trip that was going to be. I know it said 250 miles and I was like, well, 250 miles, that should take me about 15 minutes to get there, a couple minutes to back up. I showed up there in like 13 minutes, which was way too quick. So this one's probably going to be pretty quick, but... Um, at least I'm including the time getting to the destination and everything. So hopefully uh, it won't be another very, very quick video. So I do apologize. I just, I like to end after doing a drop uh, just because it's just the most natural place. You know, the, 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 the runs over, the loads completed, it's done. You know, the one that I picked up in the beginning of the episode. So it's just a good time to be like, okay, well, you know, that's a good time to stop. So that's why the other one was a little bit short. And that does happen, but uh, I just want to really get these last couple cities in uh, Arizona discovered, which would be pretty cool, uh, which I think I total, while we're waiting at this red light, I'll just go ahead and head out and see which one. So I'm missing San Simon, Sierra Vista, and uh, Cayenta, possibly. Oh, and another one, uh, Urenberg, Ianberg, possibly. I'm also missing Oakdale. For some reason, every time the game updates, it removes Oakdale. Um, and then the two new cities that they've added in California, which we can head back. But I want to get these last four done in Arizona and then head back and get that one. So that way I have all the cities discovered. It would be pretty nice to have that because it just makes it so much easier to find loads. You can say, oh, well, this city doesn't have anything. I wonder if the next city over does. Then you can just kind of bobtail and go get it. So... Um, it would just be nice. Also, then we can kind of, like, feel like we've accomplished Arizona a little bit. I've seen the Grand Canyon, not really during the day. Um, <laughs> but uh, if we can get all the cities, then I'll feel confident. Then we can kind of head back into California or uh, uh, Nevada if we would like to, which I would like to. I mean, I like Arizona, but I kind of want to get back into maybe doing some cross-state cross, uh, cross state trips just because the money is definitely there on the cross state journeys and um, it's not so much on the uh, state to state city to city trips so we're doing definitely the, the, the grunt work the slow um, you know building of money from very short trips but we have a driver out there we actually need to hire another one which is something that I probably could have done at the end of the last episode but I didn't even think about till now uh <laughs> It's just how things work. All right, so we're picking up from the same FedEx facility that we just dropped off at last time. So the only thing that I pretty much did was just drive to a rest stop, sleep, and then come back. So, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna be heading to Phoenix, Arizona, and I can't quite remember what the load was that we're gonna be grabbing, but we'll find out right now. It is 43,000 pounds of rice in a 53-foot Cisco trailer. Should be getting about five thousand uh, dollars and it is 236 miles so our last trip was 250 which took us not much time at all this one's 236 which is even less so it might be a very quick one so let's go ahead and back up to the trailer and we'll hook on the one thing that i really wish american truck sim simulated um, which I don't know how difficult it would actually be to implement, but I would love to see the feature is, uh, uh, wind. I would love to see a wind sort of simulation in American Truck Sim. Are we going to hook? Boom. Hooked. Pull forward. Hear it dragging. 
Uh, the drag test worked, so we're going to go ahead and couple. We definitely need to get diesel um, as soon as possible. We're getting pretty close to that E that we're going to have to fill up. So, yeah, the one thing I would love to see is wind simulate. Si uh, simu <laughs> I would love to see wind simulated is what I've been trying to say. Uh, <laughs> but... It would just, it's one of those things that I think is missing. The one thing that I see quite often um, is trucks dealing with the wind. Uh, it gets it can it can get relatively windy um, in you know the freeways around here, and you see a lot of trucks battling the wind all the time. You always see them up ahead, and you're like, is this guy drunk? Because he's kind of like having a little bit of trouble staying in his lane. Well, no, it's he's just he's dealing with that wind that's pushing him around. So I would love to see that. An American truck sim just because it is a big thing I you know I, I can even vouch for the difference in the amount of wind resistance you get from driving one car to another uh, a good example is my Miata will cut through the wind like nobody's business if it's super windy I don't even need to counter steer for the wind or anything uh, it just cuts right through it. it's very nice very aerodynamic uh, but the Crown Victoria is different that thing I actually do have to counter steer to wind why are you hitting the brakes when you have a green god they just like brake checked me for no reason um so yeah i do have to counter steer in the wind with the crown victoria and um i think that in american truck sim obviously when you're driving a truck it's pretty much like a big wall on wheels the wind is very much so a factor with truckers um so i would love to see that i would also love to see some fluid kind of simulation in terms of driving tankers i know that that is a whole thing in itself with the amount of fluid sloshing back and forth when it comes to braking accelerating uphill downhill all that sort of thing i know that that fluid movement left right back forth can really mess with the trailer and kind of throw it around i would love to get a little more kind of realistic with american truck sim i know there's a lot of people out there that want realism and i know that scs is really tries to make it a good cross between anybody can play it and it can be a very high simulation game and I think they could do that just by offering the options of like simulated wind yes yeah, simulated tanker you know uh, fluid feature or whatever the fuck they would call it and just like yes or no depending on how you want to play the game but I think it would be a really cool feature because wind is a big factor for trucks um, and I just don't feel like that's much of a it's not a factor at all in American Truck Sim, and I would love to see it. I would love to be on an open highway and have to battle some wind every now and then just to kind of deal with the, uh, just just to kind of deal with uh, what truckers deal with, which I think would be really cool. Um, because, yeah, trucks get blown around quite a bit, and even something as small as, like, my Crown Victoria gets blown around in the wind. Um, it's just a matter of just how big and how windy, you know, how big the vehicle is, how windy it is. Uh, the Crown Victoria is the most non-aerodynamic four-door sedan ever made. <laughs> I don't know if that's... That might be true, because that thing is not aerodynamic at all. It literally just blocks the wind. It's like a big brick. Um, but, yeah, I would love to deal with that in American Truck Sim. I know it would be kind of annoying at times getting blown around, but it would add another feature of engagement, you know, on those long highway trips where you're not doing something like I'm currently doing right now. This is a gas station that doesn't really exist, which is unfortunate. Um, but if you're doing something like I'm doing now, obviously this is very engaging. Driving on a very twisty road, trying to keep your speed up so people behind you don't get mad, but not trying to go too fast that you kill yourself. That is very engaging. Driving on an open highway on the 5 from Los Angeles to Redding, California, one shot on the 5, go straight. That doesn't sometimes will pull you out of engagement just because you're not actually doing anything you're just kind of driving in a line sure you got to turn every now and then but i think if the wind feature was in there that would definitely keep you a little more engaged just because you're going to be counter steering or fighting or depending on what kind of wind and who knows maybe if it, it got to the point where it got too windy um you know you might even have to like pull over so i don't know I just, it's its kind of a thought. I think it would be kind of a cool feature to add. Um, but then again, i it's really easy for me to sit here and say, I think you should do this, 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 this. Um, but it's never easy on the other side. And I totally understand that. These are just things that one day I would love to see. 
I don't understand the work that goes into doing something like that, so I couldn't even pr begin to understand any of that. Um, so, it would be nice to see, but is it possible? I honestly don't know. I don't know what this engine is capable of. I don't know. I don't know what SES is capable capable of. I know they've done some pretty amazing things in the past, um, and they definitely keep coming back and you know bringing us really cool stuff consistently. You know, like the the Arizona DLC is always nice to get a new place, but also on top of that to do like the coupling and stuff like that is really cool and. Just all these extra features to kind of make it a little more simulation based is really nice. So it does seem like they're kind of wanting to add more features, which is really, really cool. Um, I just don't know how in depth or anything like that that they really, really plan on trying to, trying to do with this. So, of course, it's super easy for me to say I would love to see this and they should add it. But is that gonna, is that how things work? No, you can't just say this is how it should be and that's how it is, unfortunately. <laughs> doesn't work like that so maybe one day um I, I think that if there is a company out there it is SES that could get that done um so I don't know we'll see there is a fuel station there though I wonder if I could hmm okay I'm gonna make a left here I know it wants me to make a right Ooh, I just killed my truck I want to make sure yep okay I'm out of that lane I'm gonna make a left here so I can make a right Hopefully right into the, uh, yes, we're open. We are open. So hopefully I can make a left and then a right, right into the fuel station. So then I can fuel up and then I'll pull out facing the right direction. There we go. That was a good turn. Didn't hit the curb. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to get this truck in the gas station here. At a somewhat straight... Ooh, I was going to hit those pumps. I had a feeling. Okay. Watch the sign. Oh, oh. God, I hit the pumps anyway. <laughs> I'm a terrible trucker. All right. I think we're going to clear that sign. Go ahead and park. Parking brake. Engine off, and we'll start filling. We'll see how much this is going to cost us, how much, how many gallons we're going to put in. I think we have a 300 gallon tank. We were about a qu uh, maybe a quarter of a tank right before red. So I don't know, 250, mm, 275 gallons is what I'm going to say. Uh, oh, 253. I should have said 250. $518 diesel price is $2 and point four point zero four cents a gallon which is actually super cheap. All right, so go ahead and get back out on the road. Continue this journey. Hopefully this won't be a terrible intersection to pull out of. I'm gonna go now. I know there's traffic coming, but I'm gonna go because I see how long that line of traffic is. <laughs> Look at that, I would've waited for a little while. Okay. Also get over in the right lane here. All right, so now we're officially on the way. Well, we're only 116 miles away, so it shouldn't take us too much longer to get there. <sighs> but yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the future of American Truck Sim holds, but I do know that I'm extremely excited that one day, and I, <laughs> I don't know when, but one day I'll be able to drive a truck from California to New York or Florida or something like that all the way across the country, maybe even up into Canada, which would be amazing. And also to have a multiplayer mod that can do practically the same thing would be really, really cool. So I, I'm definitely looking forward to the future of American Truck Sim, but all good things take time. So it's all about just waiting, seeing how things turn out, and uh, going from there practically is just dealing with what happens. Um, and like, I don't know what SCS has planned in the future, but I would love to see a, uh, a wind feature. We are cruising. Picked up a lot of speed. Trying to stick at 65 here. So also lately I've been considering a PC upgrade. 
I talked a little bit about this in my long dark, but I think it's been long enough. I've had my current computer for, uh, I believe, coming up close to about two years now. Um, yeah, two years, coming up on two years, uh, which isn't actually that long for a computer, but when I built this computer, it was a very budget-based built computer. Um, and part of the, making it cheap and to make sure I didn't go over the budget that I had set, I went with an AMD processor. Um, I definitely prefer Intel. I'm not a big fanboy of either. Like, I'm not, you know, I don't think one's better than the other. I think they're both good for what you can afford. If you can afford an Intel, go for an Intel. If you can't, you just want a computer, but whatever, AMD is not bad, you know. Um, but I would, I guess I would prefer an Intel. Uh, they just, they do seem to operate a little bit better, um, at least in terms of uh, multiple things happening at once. Uh, which is kind of what happens when you YouTube, lots of things happening at the same time. Um, and my AMD just doesn't seem to want to hold up with my, especially my graphics card. I have definitely bottlenecked my CPU with my 980 Ti hybrid um, because my CPU is not that good and the graphics card is fairly good. Um, and I can definitely tell that the graphics card isn't having an issue with doing the things that I want to do. We're not going this way. It is the, um, the, the, the CPU. The CPU is just having a little bit of trouble keeping up with some of the things that I'm trying to get it to do consistently. So I've been considering a PC upgrade. Um, it's just, it's all dependent on what I want to do and how I want to do it and how much I want to spend and you know, it, it, all that comes into factor right, with everybody when you do a PC upgrade. It's just a matter of trying to find what fits you best. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the process of, ooh, that's not a lane, <laughs> it just ends. I'm not in the process of purchasing anything yet. This is just an idea. I know that I want to do it. I would like to have a new PC by the end of 2016. Um, so I just want to look around, start shopping. I know that I'm, I'm going to be able to pull some parts out of my current machine, which is good. So that'll save me money. I'm not going to buy another graphics card just because I really like the graphics card I have now. I'm not going to pull my drives out just because the drives that I have are, you know, work fine now. Um, so I, I don't need new drives. I don't need a new graphics card. Pretty much I just need power supply, case, motherboard, processor, RAM. That's it's about 80% of a computer practically. So uh, the only thing I'm missing is drives and a graphics card. But, um, oh, it's 25 through here better slow down we're already in phoenix um so yeah i don't know yet i do want to go intel for sure uh i just don't know i know intel has a lot of different types of uh processors ranging from all different types of prices from reasonable to absolutely fucking insane um <laughs> i'm just not sure what i think i'm gonna need to do um obviously my job revolves around gaming you know, so I do have to play games, and I do have to play games that uh, I, I would pr I would prefer to be at a really high graphic setting with a really decent frame rate. And that's kind of what I think all YouTubers go for. Um, so it might be time to spend the money. I don't know if I would go with the top of the line Intel because I think those are still thousands and thousands of dollars, which would just be insane. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to go with yet. But I know that I I would like to get something that can do what I would like it to do which is pretty much, <laughs> I was going to say, I, I wanted to do what I wanted to do, which is pretty much just max out all games ever. Well, then, okay, well, then you're asking for a, a very expensive computer build. Um, I just don't know. I don't know yet, but I have been considering it just because, you know, things like American Truck Sim, especially when it first started, I was definitely complaining about performance. It hasn't gotten much better. I just don't complain about it, uh, about it as much. Oh, this is going to be a shitty... Uh, I'm going to have to back this in from the other way just because it's not going to work being the direction that I'm faced now. I don't think this backup is going to work either. Uh, it might. There we go. Let's kind of just pretend like we're backing up into stall 19. Ooh. I think we just hit the front of the truck. Yeah, we did. Okay. So we're going to flip around. We're gonna have to back this thing in blind. Uh, but yeah, so like my performance with American Truck Sim was just, it, it's not where I would like it to be. Um, I would like it to be a little bit better. Maybe turn my graphics up a little bit more. So, 
I don't know. I, I definitely want to do a new PC build, but you know, PCs are expensive, and buying the right parts and everything is a very big part of building a PC. So it just takes time doing the research, figuring out what works best. I think we're going to get this relatively nicely. Oh, no. Cargo's ready to unload. How is that possible? I'm also very much considering um, purchasing another, uh, uh, in terms of inside of American Truck Sim, purchasing another uh, day cab. I really miss my day cab. <laughs> I love the W900. It's a great truck, but man, the day cab really helped me out multiple times and uh, the mm, whoop, there we go we just hit the bay door just trying to position myself properly enough that I can really because we are way over and this thing is such a pain to oh this thing is such a pain to turn, like to move over to the left about, you know, I don't know, two feet. Oh god, we are really failing. Okay, so. Yeah, it's just I can't turn this big truck that much. That's the problem. And then I don't have enough space to go forward enough to then do what I need to do to get the trailer over more. And the trailer's too long to do what I'm trying to do either, so... There we go. All right. I'm okay with bumping it up against the uh, landing dock. That's fine. They typically have like big rubber stoppers anyway. Well, most places. I don't know about this one. Most real life places have those big rubber door stoppers for the trucks, I'm assuming. Not to slam into it, but just to help. Alright, so we are finally lined up here. Let's go ahead and put the parking brake on, turn the flashers off. We'll take a quick look at our park job here. Finally, stall 23. I hate when they give us the ends. I really wish they would give us one in the middle, like 19. That would have been perfect. I could have parked that in two seconds. Anyway, let's go ahead and drop the trailer here and see what kind of outcome we got from this trip. So, 237 miles, 6 hours, 2 minutes, 42 gallons of fuel. We got $5,000, about 282 XP. We are about uh, 745, I'm sorry, 845 uh, XP away from level 22. At that point, I don't really know what we're going to put it into. Um, maybe long distance, since it's been a while. We already have all the hazards cargo, high value, all that. Fuel economy is not important. I think we're going to do long distance. Um, so that way we can start taking a little bit longer trips. But that's about the extent. If I get it up to four, that's where I'm going to leave it. Just because 1,600 miles, I don't even think the top of California to the edge bottom part of Nevada, or Arizona is 1,600 miles. So it wouldn't be much point to go past that. But I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.